from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So welcome to the first of nine tutorials. We're going to be looking at all of these different um, examples over the next nine videos. But this one is going to start with our first Python program, Hello World. Lesson one is hello world.py. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit of time going over um, our simple hello world program, understanding um, what each line of the code means, and then we're going to head over to the Raspberry Pi and we're going to actually type the code in and execute that code and see it working in the real world. What we're going to learn in this particular video is setting up the Python scripts to get them ready putting in comments so we can actually sort of um, put in human readable comments to make it easy to understand our code and how to print text to the screen. So here is our first hello world program. So what does each line of these code do? Well the first one is set there to ensure that you are running the correct interpreter. What that means is that there are different versions, different releases of Python and you put this at the beginning of your code, the hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash python and what that does is it gives an absolute path for where the script when the script runs exactly where to look for the python um, interpreter and you always put that right at the top of every single python program we then have our comment our comment is um, denoted by the hash so if you type hash and then anything afterwards um, it will actually give a description of um, the code so this is just useful ways that you can type things in to make sure that you understand your code later date. And then we have the third command here which is print hello world. And what that will do is it will print to the screen anything between the speech marks and in there we have hello world exclamation. So I recommend um, a website called Code Academy and the Python track and it allows you to go on there and type in lots of code and give you lots of examples and you can have an interactive programming session by a very clever website. I recommend giving that a go. So to make life a little bit easier for you, the first thing we're going to do is actually to download a zip file that within that contains um, a copy of all the example scripts that we're going to be running. Um, we're going to download this instead of you typing it manually, um, which you can type manu manually if you wish. We're going to download it because we want to make sure that if you've built your electronics project, you know you have stable code that will work against your electronics. Okay, so first thing, open up your terminal session, and then we're going to run a command called wget, which will go to the internet, and it will download a file onto our desktop PC. So um, there's the command there and the location of that zip file. And you can see there that it's downloaded a, a .zip file called GPIO Python code to the desktop. That's a zip file, so we need to uncompress it. So we're going to run the command unzip, and then the name of the file, which is um, GPIO underscore python underscore code dot zip so when we run that command it will then create another folder and within that folder will be all of our example code so quickly just change into that directory I think I missed that quickly on the screen but you just do cd then the name of that folder and then ls there and you can see all of the um, the nine examples of code so we have a quick look at one of them so I'm going to run the more command which is to read a file and we're going to look at the file um, hello world and there are those three lines of code that we described earlier now if we look at that in Nano, the text editor, um, you'll notice that all of the uh, different lines of code are colour coded um, which makes it nice and easy to read when you're programming so much nicer than, than things like Vi. Now, If you want to create your own file from scratch, use the touch command which will actually create a blank empty text file, give it a name so test.py and then if you run uh, sudo nano against that file you can type code and then you can just save and, and write that fi file. So I'm going to get rid of that one for now because we don't really need it. But that's how you can sort of create a blank file which you can then just type your code in. Okay, so let's run our example code. Where we do this is we type sudo python, the name of the example code which is uh, one underscore hello world dot py, and then just hit return. And there we'll see that our line of code which was to print hello world to the screen. And that is your first Python program.